Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Parsec error codes 6023-6024. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're having some issues with the Parsec app here, well, there are going to be a few things that you need to do. So first things first is you want to close the actual app. So you can go ahead and click on the X button at the top right here. And you want to press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard. And you want to look for any services that may be running for Parsec. So in this case, just scroll down a bit here. Look for any services or app that is running for Parsec. Now, if you see one, go ahead and right click on it. And you want to go ahead and click on End Task. And you want to do the same thing for the other one here, as you can see right now. Let's go ahead and click on uh, right click, click on End Task. Again, do the, this other one, click on End Task and you're not good. Now, once you've done that, next thing that you want to do is you want to access your firewall. So go to your search here, just type in firewall, and you want to go and choose the option here that says allow an app through Windows firewall. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is you want to go ahead and click on the change settings at the top right here, and you want to look for Parsec. Now, in this case, uh, you may need to scroll down a bit here until you see Parsec. But if you do see it, you want to make sure that it is or the option for Firebit and public uh, connection is actually allowed here. And once you've done that or allowed that as well, you can go and just click on the uh, oh, so add option here. Or in this case, you can go and click on uh, allow another app here if you don't see Parsec. So if you don't see it, click on allow another app, click on browse here and look for the .exe file for Parsec. So once you've added this into your firewall, you can go and click on OK to apply your changes. And from then on, see if that actually helps you. Now, if none of this actually work, the last thing that you could try doing here is maybe use uh, a VPN. Sometimes using a VPN can actually help a lot. So this actually depends on what uh, type of app that you want to use for a VPN. But to be speaking, once you use it, see if that actually helps. But yeah, so in this case, that, that's about it. So if you found this video, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.